The palace has announced the schedule for the mourning period and the funeral arrangements for Queen Elizabeth II. The Queen will travel through Scotland on a journey to her final destination of London. Yesterday, the Queen's body was transported to the palace of Holyrood House in Edinburgh. Today, the Queen, the coffin, will move to St. Giles Cathedral. The royal family is expected to take part in that procession and service. The Queen's body will remain in Scotland until tomorrow when it will be moved to Buckingham Palace. On Wednesday, the Queen will be moved a final time to Westminster. She will remain there, lying in state, until the funeral next Monday. Members of the public will be allowed to see the coffin and pay their respects during that time. And at the top, we played for you some of King Charles' first address to Parliament since taking the throne on Friday. He made his first public address as King, paying tribute to his mother, the Queen, and speaking to his new role as head of the British monarchy. I speak to you today with feelings of profound sorrow. Throughout her life, Her Majesty the Queen, my beloved mother, was an inspiration, an example to me and to all my family. And we owe her the most heartfelt debt any family could owe to their mother. Queen Elizabeth was a life well lived, a promise with destiny kept, and she is mourned most deeply in her passing. That promise of lifelong service I renew to you all today. As the Queen herself did with such unswerving devotion, I too now solemnly pledge myself throughout the remaining time God grants me to uphold the constitutional principles at the heart of our nation. And wherever you may live in the United Kingdom or in the realms and territories across the world, and whatever may be your background or beliefs, I shall endeavor to serve you with loyalty, respect, and love, as I have throughout my life. Katie Kay, for those who haven't followed uh, the coverage of King Charles III since he was Prince Charles, uh, the British tabloids have, have beaten him up pretty badly through the years, knocked him around. I must say, perhaps I was taking those expectations into the, that speech and the other, other speeches he's delivered over the weekend. Uh, but I've got to say, after watching that mm. speech, I was, I was very impressed mm. at his ability to, to read the lines, to hit the marks, to play the role every bit as ably as an actor in The Crown. Uh, Charles is <laughs> far more impressive uh, in that moment than I expected. How, what's the reaction in Britain? Yeah, I mean, the tabloids, you're right, in the past have beaten him up, and he has given them, to be fair, a certain amount of fodder with which to beat him up. But I, I, the reaction over the course of the weekend to, to that speech and to the performance just now in Parliament as well has been universally well received. I mean, the, there has been, as you might expect, Joe, an outpouring of affection for the king because he has just lost his mother and because of his relationship with the queen, who was so beloved herself. But there's also, separate from that, people have been impressed, and it's been remarked on in those very same tabloids that gave him a hard time, have, have remarked on that speech that he gave, the that recorded address to the British public. Look, this is a man who has lived his life being overshadowed. He was overshadowed by his mother. He was overshadowed by his wife, Diana. And then he was overshadowed by his children, William and Harry. And for the first time, really, here is King Charles stepping out into the spotlight and owning the spotlight himself. And in these moments that you see right here of him sitting in Parliament and addressing members of Parliament and all the pomp and ceremony that surrounded uh, the proclamation of him becoming king over the course of the weekend, with each one of those incidents, he appears to grow more comfortable with the role of king that he has waited so long for. Um, he is, no one else has had so much time to prepare themselves for becoming king. And it's interesting to watch him becoming more comfortable with the mantle of monarchy. And uh, we will be covering the funeral, the commemoration of Queen Elizabeth, uh, live from London in the coming days. Other